Everything's looking great out there, guys. Get get out there. Now it's mandatory. It just seems like Where I'm at. if we were willing to make it mandatory, why the hell didn't we do it two months ago? It's late, yeah. So late. you're right. But let's 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 go. Let's not dwell on it and yeah, uh, we're let's go. keep everybody so safe. So what's going to happen when people are in public? I know they, they said they're not really going to enforce it much. I mean, if an officer well, sees closed. you. Enclosed. Yeah, I know. Public but are, are people going to start coming up to you and go like, hey, what, the, what are you doing? Put a mask on, you jerk. Do you want me to there kill you? Yeah. you? Want me to kill you? So. They're going to be like, listen, man, like if you don't put your mask on, you know, you need to get out of here. And that's going to be the, the, the drama queens, right? So um, the it's going to be interesting. The tough I'm, guys I'm, are going to be policing the masks. I know. I'm going to be watching my Instagram feed to try to get some cool videos on blog TO or something like that, where they're going to be showing a little fight at Walmart. But there's a lot of enclosed places that people go into. Like you literally yeah. need to have a mask around your neck. It's like 75% masks right now. Anyways, this is not a, a, a major shock or, or this shouldn't be something that people are like, Oh my gosh, this is, I can't you, believe they're asking. Like wear, wear it, a mask. You think it's 75% about... masks where I go. Yeah. Where the places I go, really? that, that, I don't go to too many places, but when I go, 75% masks. Wow. Yep. Some stores uh, mandate it. I went to a, a clothing store the other day that it said on the sign walking in. Yeah, you must wear. they all should say that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I guess all, now they have to, right? Yep, in Toronto. Yeah. We so still have other regions around us. It doesn't apply for this because this is outdoors, but the Toronto is distillery is a big open patio now. Yeah, this is, this is a great just Toronto real estate story. The whole distillery district. That's like that's a whole episode in itself right there. But yeah. that, that is a unbelievable from like wreck and ruins old crappy buildings to just like such a bustling, lively, unbelievable area. Um, I've been there recently. I mean, it's really nice. I guess not recently, maybe last summer. But just so mm -hmm. beautiful, amazing. But it's really cool. Like things are just kind of happening in Toronto now. Remax is saying, you know, uh, why the real estate market prices haven't crashed in Toronto. And we've talked about it a bunch of times. And everybody seems to be saying the same thing. It's the it's the uh, sales uh, listings to 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 um, what is the it called? sales to listing ratio? Yeah, yeah, sales to listing ratio. Thanks. Just yeah. the fact that that just kind of stayed in balance uh, up and down the whole time, yeah, is really yeah, what, what's sure. kept the and, prices and going. And really on in this article is the uh, is the low interest rate. So, like, if you're borrowing at the you know the cheapest interest rates that have been around uh, you know forever, um, you know you could possibly get something under two percent or, or close to two percent. That is that is the time to buy. And so when that type of stimulus is coming in, and people are saying, well you know, uh, cost of rent or, uh, affordability, what I can qualify for, whatever it is that they're, that they're weighing out do is, is it time to buy or not? That's going to put a lot of pressure on it. And the first time buyer market segments across the city are getting, uh, incredible attention. It's just like, sure. everything's moving. Everything's well, moving. And if, if prices stay stagnant through this, right, which they have, mm -hmm. um, and rates go down then effectively like the price of that house went down for most people right the cost of uh living goes down yeah well, so the, the cost of 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 paying off the the mortgage every month it goes down yep. so now instead of your mortgage being a thousand it's going to be 850 or people yeah. can afford more house again or actually afford house absolutely get into the market right so we've yeah. got we've got a lot of really really great things and um there's a ton of people who are uh, still looking for uh, a place to live. It's just one of those basic human uh, fundamentals that just never seems to disappear. People just aren't happy to be homeless. I don't know why I, I've been, you know, doing surveys, but nine out of ten people are saying that they're, uh, you know, comfortable with a roof over their head. So, you know, as long as that doesn't change, Toronto real estate's going to be in demand. I think so.